What is going on to your Jeff fans? I would love for wide receiver Romo Dunze to fall to number 10 and any little inkling of evidence that I can get that is more likely to happen, I will take it. Now, the Arizona Cardinals have two first round picks, four and 27, and their last three visits have been interesting to me. So tell me if I'm reaching here, but they've la last three visits have been Layatu Latu, JC Latham, and Brian Thomas Jr. And all three of those guys feel to me uh, rich to take at number four, but probably off the board at 27. So they could come up from 27. They could think these guys are going to fall to 27. Maybe they love one of them at four. But these really look like trade with the Minnesota Vikings number 11 kind of picks to me, especially when you look at the Bears and the Broncos or the other two teams to visit with Latu. So I think he probably goes um, definitely between 8 and 20 for Latu. And we know the Cardinals have been willing to, to move back and acquire more picks. Now, if they move out, someone comes up quarterback, well, then that triggers a domino effect of now they're not taking Marvin Harrison Jr., right? So now maybe the, um, the Chargers take Marvin Harrison Jr., and then maybe the Giants take Neighbors. It's just one more domino uh, that could lead to Romo Dunze falling. And then furthermore, I don't know if, if they are on the phone and they're, they're having these conversations already. Maybe teams around the league know that, hey, New England's moving out too or New England's going quarterback. So could we see four quarterbacks go straight one through four? And then the Jets have essentially the fifth non-quarterback pick off the board. Uh, or at least it puts it would put a, the Jets in position to where if they really loved one of Joe Alt or Romo Dunze, maybe coming up to seven or eight is in the cards. I don't think you're trading up to top five at all. I think, you know, I did a mock draft earlier today where you come up to six for neighbors, which is, I think, the highest the Jets could trade up. But even then, that's probably going to be really pricey. Um, but man, and then furthermore, if... If there's a run on um, QBs in the and the they all go top four. Now, if you're one of these these teams at twelve and thirteen, Broncos Raiders, two division rivals. Uh, now you're at ten. You're the Jets. Do one of these? Do these teams? You both call them both up and say the pick is for sale. You want that fifth quarterback, whether it be Bo Nix, Michael Penix, whoever they like. Uh, are you willing to part with a third round pick to make sure your division rival doesn't get that player? Are you willing to swap a fourth and a second round pick to ensure that happens? So all that to say, if Arizona is moving out of four, I think it's good news for the New York Jets. If you want to check out a mock draft where I was aggressive and traded up, you can check that out uh, down below and we'll talk all soon.